President Biden on Thursday nominated Michael Whitaker to head the Federal Aviation Administration and named a former airline executive, who was formerly second in command to the agency, as its leader. Choose your plan arrow right if approved by the Senate. Whitaker will begin a five-year term as the agency grapples with high-profile near-misses that have shaken confidence in aviation security. The FAA would be tasked with modernizing its technology and replacing depleted air traffic controllers. Some of this work will be familiar to Whitaker, who, as FAST Deputy Director, oversaw work on the next-generation air traffic control system during Obama administration. Whitaker was a longtime executive at United Airlines and served as senior vice president of regulations. He currently serves as chief operating officer at Supernal, a company developing electric aircraft. Whitaker, 62, holds law degree from Georgetown University Law Center and earned a private pilot certification during his time at the FAA in 2014 as part of what he calls commitment to understanding technology and challenges facing general aviation. The nomination follows a long period without a permanent leader of the security agency. Former Delta Airlines executive Steve Dixon, appointed by President Donald Trump, resigned as executive 17 months ago. It was difficult find a manager and he has all knowledge, tools, and respect for the department," said former Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood, who was sworn in to FAA post Whitaker in June 2013. He said industry and piloting experience should also help him gain support among senators who will vote on his candidacy. It should be a pass, LaHood said. Labor and industry groups on Thursday underscored need for permanent leadership at the agency and urged Senate to quickly confirm Whitaker. Perhaps more than any time in aviation history, it is urgent that we have a certified FAA administrator, Sarah Nelson, president of the 50,000 member Association of Flight Attendants SIWA, said in a statement. Nelson whose organization represents flight attendants at 19 airlines, said Whitaker has the experience to step into the role and move us forward immediately. In July 2022, Biden selected Philip Washington, a longtime transit official, general manager of Denver International Airport and a 24-year Army veteran, to lead the FAA. But as his nomination progressed through the confirmation process, Republican senators said he lacked aviation safety experience. At a Senate hearing on Washington's nomination in March, Sen. Ted Cruz and other Republicans tried to tie Washington to local political issues in California, where he chairs the Los Angeles County Metropolitan Transportation Authority, and Washington's local they criticized his focus on political issues diversity among public transportation authorities and contractors. Cruz told Washington it does not comfort flying public that their pilot was a gender-swapped witch, but did not know ho.